Hey guys, welcome back to Come Again TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. I'm Shannon, and today on the show, we're taking a look at the Transformers Siege War for Cybertron. This is Chromia. Let's go ahead and set her off to the side real quick. We'll take a look at the packaging. Uh, this is a deluxe class. Uh, this side is the same as all the other sides in the Transformers Siege War for Cybertron uh, toy line. This side has Chromia. There's the back. Pretty cool. Uh, I do really like the vehicle form of Chromia. Uh, looks a lot better than the robot form. Uh, but I usually keep my Transformers in robot form. So anyway, let's go ahead and move this off to the side. It does come with directions. It's been a while since I've transformed Chromia. So I will be working off the directions quite a bit. I did not transform her beforehand like I usually do. Uh, just because I'm filming these back to back. I just finished filming Starscream and I filmed Megatron right before that. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to do the Transformers Bumblebee movie Bumblebee uh, or not in the near future. Pretty difficult to transform. I do not like the movie Transformers. Uh, there are a lot. There's a lot more into their transformations than the uh, Siege and all those others. So I may hold off on that. Transform them a lot more before I do. Um, I do also have Trigger Happy. Uh, but I've already filmed a review of Trigger Happy for Caveman Reviews. So I'm going to wait until he releases that video. Uh, and then maybe a week or so after he releases that one, I'm going to refilm it for my channel. So anyway, Chromia is a she. She's a female Transformer. Uh, I don't know much about her other than that. She comes with this gun. Which, let's go ahead and lay her down because it's difficult for her to stand. And this gun, it's actually four parts. You got these pieces here. And then this piece. You can actually transform it several different ways okay but we're gonna move it off to the side because we're gonna need those a little bit later now the main thing I do not like about chromia is this crotch piece it likes to fly off so we're gonna try and transform her with the crotch piece on if it starts falling off, I'm just going to take it off and leave it. Alright? So anyway, first thing you want to do is bring her arms up just like that. Make her reach for the sky. Turn her head around. Oh. I hadn't even noticed that before, really. Oh. Okay. So you'll turn her head around. Then you'll clip her feet. Let's see. Yeah. From behind, you'll put her feet just like that. And they clip together. But I'm not sure if you want to do that right now. Yeah, we'll go ahead 
we'll clip them together okay once that's done we need to let's see, bring these down just like this and we'll bring Fold these around like that. Now I'm getting a little bit ahead of myself, but you almost have to with this figure. Oh yeah, there it is. You flip this part out. And it attaches these little pegs here go fit right up in there just like that all right then once that's done you're gonna want to bring that around like that okay we're gonna go ahead and lower her head just like that and then once that's done bring her arms down like that and they kind of sit they clip right in there on both sides. Okay. And then her hands come up like this. Alright. Once you do that, you can peg. these pieces into her hands or they can also peg in there but I like to put them in her hands because it actually gives her hands something to do other than just sit there and look weird um, but I guess if you put them up here it kind of hides the hands a little bit. I guess. Now normally that crotch piece always pops off when I'm transforming her. Uh, for some reason it didn't do it this time. Which is fine by me. Let's go ahead and angle this down. So you guys can see. Then you'll clip the gun in there like that. And you'll put this piece according to the directions. Pop it in just like that. And there you have Chromia, and it's pretty good. Uh, let's make sure everything's clipped into place. She rolls real well. The cockpit does not open up. But very nice. I like it. Like I said, the only only problem I have with Chromia is a lot of times that crotch piece will flop off. I don't know why they made it a separate piece. I really don't. They should have just sculpted it in to the mold. But it is what it is. And then these arms. 
they don't really peg in that tight. And like from behind, they really should have had something that goes there so that you don't really see the hands. But that's it. Uh, pretty nice figure. Yes. Nice figure. Uh, she looks a lot better in vehicle mode than she does in robot mode. Uh, but that's just my personal opinion. I still display her in robot mode because I display all my transformers in robot mode. They sit better on my shelf that way. Uh, the wheels do move. So, uh, yeah. There you guys have it. Transformers Siege War for Cybertron Chromia. Uh, they have these, at, at least at my local Walmart, they have a few of these on the shelf uh, just sitting there. So, you might want to you might want to pick them up. Uh, pretty decent transformer. Not too difficult to transform. Uh, but like I said, she doesn't peg together nearly as tightly as some of the other Transformers. I don't know if that's because she's a deluxe class or what, but they should have probably worked on that, and they should have really made that crotch piece part of the mold rather than a separate piece. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you hit the like button if you did. Leave a comment down below and let me know if you like Chromia. Uh, some of the other Transformers you may like. And uh, yeah, I'll see you again real soon, geeks. Take care. If you enjoyed that video, make sure you hit the subscribe button right there so you can stay up to date on all things geek culture. Also, make sure you check out one of these two playlists on the side for more videos just like the one you just watched. I'm Shannon for Comic Getting TV, the only place on YouTube where all geek culture collides. Take care, geeks.